For the most part, natural hair care is easy. My hair went from this to this in three months and I used one simple principle that I'll be sharing in this video. Okay, I think this is the first time I come on YouTube and my hair is out, like out, out, but it can't fit in the frame. San Bonani Ninjani is Zinke Africa. For those that want to know, my hair is in a little bun. In terms of the hair principle or the hair philosophy that kept me motivated and kept things simple and still kept things doable for me in that three months whilst my hair was in that protective style was to treat my hair like a plant and for the rest of the video I'm going to be explaining exactly what I mean by that right so I thought of how you take care of a plant. The first thing you, you would do is water your plant. Your plant can't go dry, you know, otherwise it actually might die, you know. So hydration was extremely important to me. It's something that I will always advise and tell the next person, you know, natural hair loves water, just like our bodies cannot do without water. Um, that includes our hair, you know, internally and externally. Our hair can only flourish through water. Water is in our products, it is in our routines, it is in almost every part of our hair care routine. So it is extremely important. That hydration is very important. And then because now you're putting that water in your hair, you need to give it food. So what makes food food is that it gives nutrients, right? And the primary source of nutrients when it comes to plants is that plants get their nutrients from the air, water, and mainly the soil, which are all needed to allow the process of photosynthesis. They need the sun's light as well in the equation to make their food grow. And then when we look at our hair, our hair gets its nutrients from a healthy diet that is rich in protein, water, biotin, iron, omega-3 fatty acids, zinc, and all the other vitamins. As the hair follicle develops, the blood vessels that come from the deep dermal vascular plexus surround it, and these vessels nourish the hair follicle and support nutrient delivery, waste elimination, and growth. So basically, when it comes to plants, everything works on a deeper level in the soil right and when it comes to hair everything works on the deeper level in the follicle so the nutrients work internally they work in your body and it's really important that you have a healthy diet plus blood circulation also is really important and that's why a lot of the hair growth oils promote blood circulation because it's that blood circulation that is going to affect the hair follicles so the nutrients primary source are internal and then the secondary source of nutrients the things that are important but aren't as important as the primary source are in plants manure because manure is naturally derived it doesn't just add nutrients it also increases the activity of the microbes in the soil and it increases its fertility and at the same time with hair care yes it's important to have that healthy diet and a secondary source is hair care and this includes the products and the tools that we use in our hair care that help in maintaining that healthy hair and scalp as well as targeting the issues and concerns such as breakage the dryness and the dandruff and I think from the beginning of the three months, I could see a big shift in my hair because of the quality of the food. You know, you can call it, you can call it products, but for me, it, it started to be food for my hair because I was making the products. I had some really simple recipes that were so impactful. I found that too many chemicals in my hair actually stunts the growth of my hair it stunts the health of my hair it's doing more harm than good so the way that i began to understand it was that in terms of food for my hair there's whole foods that are just healthy and fresh and then there's the junk food that's just 
really terrible for your hair a lot of chemicals a lot of synthetic chemicals a lot of things that we don't really understand you know until i truly and fully understand certain chemicals that they put in our products i am not gonna I'm just i'm not gonna do it like i'm i'm not gonna do it as we know in terms of our products we have synthetic ingredient based products versus our natural vegan organic products in hair care and this is very similar to what plants go through in terms of manure versus fertilizer in plant care where manure as I mentioned before, is naturally derived. It doesn't just add nutrients. It also increases the activity of the microbes in the soil and increases its fertility. Whilst on the other end, fertilizers harm the microbes and they cause health issues in the consumers because they are synthesized chemically. It's another case of junk versus organic whole food healthy ingredients slash food slash products a big contributing factor to the progress of my hair was in the quality of the product and i always say if you're not sure and you're just starting out and you and you don't know what to pick rather buy the products that have the most natural you know vegan friendly ingredients in them either than really synthetic terrible things for you right the more organic ingredients that are in that product the better it is for you even in terms of side effects it's just better for your health i definitely found this out a few years ago but this was the first time in a long time that i went back to it um just putting my recipes together and i highly advise you to look through my channel i will link all the recipes that i did in that three months that really helped me um, stay consistent and also just give my hair that quality 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 product that it deserves it just soaks in all that goodness the way that it responds to these products is really different than all the other times i used other things that i wasn't even sure about so I think, yeah, this one was a big one. Once you have your plant, you have watered it, you have put it in the sun in a way that works for it, you know, depending on what plant it is. Another thing that people do with their plants is they talk to their plants, right? And this is where hair affirmations come in. If you are someone that prays, Praying over your hair, speaking positively about your hair also impacts the results that you get, the progress that you make um, and where you will find yourself in your journey. You can either really enjoy your hair, enjoy the process, enjoy the mixing of the products, enjoy this whole thing that they call natural hair care. Or it can feel like a job, it can feel like a drag. It's really up to you. I remember reading about an experiment where there was one plant that they spoke positive words too and just gave it good vibes and then there was another plant where they just gave it like negativity and bad vibes you know and after about like two weeks one one plant died and one you know was flourishing and doing well the plant that was showered with good vibes um great just higher frequencies and positive affirmations actually thrived than the one that was given negativity and that's exactly how our hair is a lot of people are complaining about natural hair they're saying how much it frustrates them they're saying this they're doing that da, 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 da. hair affirmations praying over your hair hair is very much spiritual so if you speak good over your hair speak good over your life speak good over everything and anything concerning you it can only get better it can only improve it it can only level up it can only go up from there these are just three things that without one of these elements your plant can die and it's the same with our hair if you starve your hair of one component for too long you will be very frustrated because your hair will let you know that it isn't happy that is all from me in this video really simple really simple you know if if you forget everything else remember to treat your hair like a plant make sure that you subscribe you like this video and you comment down below other than that love light and blessings to you bye Mwah.